Hello and welcome to Garbler Games. Tonight we have episode four of Feudal Stars, our mega meta traveler game. I am Pete and I'm the referee. Oh, good evening and welcome to Garbler Games. I am not the referee, I am Ben and I'm playing Kona Carl, who is totally above board, completely legitimate computer specialist. Hi, uh, my name is Millie. I um, my character is uh, Ka Haran, um, a completely legitimate scientist and free clone. Hi, I'm Leon, and I'm playing Frankie, the pilot of our ragtag group. Uh, definitely didn't have a career in crime. Suspiciously hot pilot. <laughs> so freaking hot! It's so hot. It's, it's the most different character I've ever played <laughs> to myself. <laughs> The Cabold Bard Hello. was more my style. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jim, and I'm playing um, Arjun uh, and Dr. Rooster, uh, who uh, is uh, a medic and a bit of a um, a wanderer. Hello, and I'm Nye. I'm playing P Professor Plim, who is the science officer, I think, although I think I just kind of sub in because i did explosives last time i was on so I, I feel like i kind of just fell in any gaps people need isn't he but, isn't um, he technically the evil science officer that, that's a role on the ship right I, yeah i uh, yeah you have to have it you have to have a good and evil one like devil's that, that war was a like, total you know. accident <laughs> <laughs> yeah well i you know i'm trying to you know it these things happen unfortunately mm, who did it was it plum was it, was it Triglav with a nuclear on the moon. weapon? <laughs> yeah, with the nuclear weapon. Oh, God. Cool. Okay. So, welcome to episode four of Feudal Stars. Um, this, as I said, this is our mega meta traveler game where we have too many players and our patrons uh, help out with the world building and behind the scenes diplomacy of the factions in our little quadrant, our four subsectors on the very edge, far edge of the Third Imperium. So far on the edge that very few people bother about it apart from the Duke of Sidenica. Um, before we begin and do a little recap of where we are, please don't forget to check out all our social media in the About if you're watching on Twitch and in the video description somewhere down there if you're watching on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, come and follow us on Twitch. We're trying to hit a thousand followers by next Friday. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna happen, <laughs> but Tell we're your quite a way off. But I was like, we're over 800. That's nearly a thousand. Let's go for it. So anyway, uh, next Friday is our Twitch anniversary. Uh, so so that's going to be lots of fun. Um, whoa, where was I? Also, if you're watching on Twitch, come and follow us on YouTube and check it out at the weekend and give us a like and a comment. A big thank you to Mongoose Publishing, who are sponsoring our show and also who have given us a giveaway for tonight. It's not this physical copy. But at the break, someone will be in with a chance to win a copy of the Traveller Companion, which, as you can see, I just got my hands on recently. And this is a fantastic little book with alternative character creation rules, things about building aliens, and all kinds of extra rules, gas giant operations, legalities, and law breaking. Oh, maybe I'll just leave that open on this page for tonight over <laughs> here somewhere. I would. Um, <laughs> So loads of extra Let's content. Some bads. If there are people who aren't used to the way Traveller builds characters with a very cool life path method, but if someone sort of says, oh, I want to be this kind of guy from a colony who does this, then there's a system in there as well where you can say, right, here's a background package. Here's a job package. What, bash, bish, bash, bosh. Let's go. Uh, so there's kind of a quicker character creation process in there as well. So one lucky viewer will be in with the chance of winning that. We'll give you a little hashtag to enter at the break. And uh, over our break, you can enter that and we'll, we'll draw the winner at the end. So last time on Feudal Stars, um, we were, uh, we, we done a, we've done like a split. So first two episodes, the crew arrived in the Tothan system where they're going to collect their new starship. And unbeknownst to them, there's a big diplomatic meeting going on and they've obviously got involved in stuff and they're in over their heads. And um, there's bats running around, running around, flying, flapping around on the station on high Nexus. Uh, and Frankie and Plim have gone off to investigate those. 
Um, there is uh, seemingly uh, an interesting black market um, in the sort of upper orbits. Sure, it's a completely of... legitimate market. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, Kona has gone off to is going off to investigate that. Um, Karen, uh, who's from Tothan, um, yeah. has discovered that her line of clones, because Tothan is completely uh, peopled by clones, have been erased uh or, or 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 are no longer around and um uh, she is slightly disturbed by this and has made contact with an old ally kevin um to discuss what what is going on on the planet it seems that tothan uh, are, are reaching out but in a way that is to get other people to do their work for them so they're hiring people getting travelers to come along tooling them up and sending them out the tothan people don't want to really leave their home system they don't let anyone down onto their planet because it will it will mess up their their genetic purity uh, and they're busy trying to clean their planet from a mistake they made 200 years ago but they don't like to talk about that um and last week our diplomatic team although watching it back i'm not sure how well i, I think they all lied on their resumes um they they went to the after party of the diplomatic session which was held on our discord between our patrons who have all signed up to different factions and just want to say a massive thank you again to the patrons absolutely fantastic you guys are doing some uh, some great role playing in our patron discord channels the 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 secret conversations in separate channels and then coming together to discuss things alliances betrayals discussions betrayals? all kinds of wonderful things going on who knows i'm sure there's no betrayals. millie that's that's mostly you in the independent star system channel oh no no um so so there was a big discussion and the um the players have gone off oh, we're not, we're not going to recap what happened in that episode because it hasn't happened yet mm. they are going off to the diplomatic session yeah they're all putting on their fancy clothes and getting ready to go out and uh, have Absolutely. free food and free booze and swan around with posh people while some of us have got real jobs. <laughs> Ben's just going to be slagging them all off now that they're not here. <laughs> I think some of them are in chat, though. So I'm sure out. some of them are in chat. <laughs> yeah. They better be. Uh, those yeah. boats. So uh, we begin on the... Uh, I'll just start where, with where everybody is and then we'll start with the action. So... Plim and Frankie were on board the station. They've gone around to like a desert, not deserted, but a kind of cleared area of the uh, kind of habitation ring. Kona, Carl, you were just leaving the test tube bar, te tube yes. rack, tube rack bar. Mm -hmm. Tube rack. Uh, and um, Karen, you were on board the ship. Yes. Uh, and uh, Arjun. If it's Arjun at the moment, I'm not sure. Um, you are on board the ship as well. And this is the old lab ship that you're handing in for part exchange on this shiny new starship that's coming that you guys are all going to take and get the hell out of Tothan. Because you've all, some of you really want to get out and some of you, may, maybe, maybe not. Um, in terms of continuity, it'll be great if Karen and Arjun go and beat up the prisoner in the brig. Let's go, yeah. <laughs> Because that means it have got duffed up twice before everyone went out. <laughs> That's why he's so confused, right? Yeah, we're not having this. another interrogation scene. <laughs> I'll leave that. Just replay what happened. Oh, yeah, and now we want to go and gate crash the diplomatic party. No. <laughs> we all preserve continuity. But we will, we will first... Um, we will go over to the ship. So, Karen mm. and Arjun, you are both on the ship... Um, uh, Arjun, how much do people know about your past? That would probably be one of the um, first things to ascertain for the team. I, I'm just a bit of a, a wanderer, really. Um, Are they aware um, of your special qualities? No, um, I, I'm, okay. I'm, 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 I'm a doctor. Um, okay, cool. Um, doctor Rooster. Um, so, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I just keep my quiet and keep myself to myself, honest. Okay. Um, well, well yeah. you've on one of your unusual forays to the the common lounge area. Uh, you have found that 
the Varga member of your um, crew, Bark Wolfberg, is uh, unconscious, drunk, beyond, you know, waking up within the next 12 hours um, uh, and collapsed on the table. Uh, and it seems that the, the rest of the kind of sort of posher, maybe snobby members of the crew who you've met are off somewhere else. Uh, and, and Karen kind of comes into the area from the other doorway um, and Karen, you've just had all your conversations with Ke Kevin. Kevin. There's um, an apostrophe in there. There is, yeah, there is <laughs> in all of them. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna exa examine uh, this chap on the table. Yeah, I'll, I'll get my wood saw out as well. Have a look around. <laughs> he is just massively inebriated. He clearly can't handle drinking with uh, Monty. Uh, and with um, the Marquis. Uh, the Marquis, you know, is renowned for his drinking skills and pectoral muscles. Um, uh, and clearly he's drunk him onto the, under the table, onto the table, you know. There he is in the chat going, yeah. and push ups. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. yep. <laughs> So oh, I'd handle his drink. Um, well, that's fine because I will handle the rest of it for him, and I will take the jug of Bloody Mary. Mm -hmm. I'll take the celery out. You know, this is comprised mostly of water and has no place in this drink anywhere. And drop it on the table, and and take the jug, and then I will look at what is it, Doctor Rooster? Doctor Rooster. Ah. Uh, Hold you... on a second, and I'll. I'll go inside my white coat and I'll pull out a big syringe. Do you want some of this? <laughs> no. Might go down a little bit easier with that. She's a 60-year-old woman <laughs> with an endurance of four. <laughs> like... Just stabbing her with it would probably knock her out. <laughs> yeah, it's like... No, I... fumes coming off the bloody Mary will probably <laughs> knock her out. Yeah, I, I, no, uh, this this will do. Uh, but you're welcome to to come and join me. Uh, I think I'd like to find uh, there's a there's a, a viewing room further around the the ring. Uh, we could probably see most of Totten from there if we wanted. What 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 does it view? Well, whatever is outside. We're not we're not. A... <laughs> Outside. Oh, of. Have, and I'll smell, I'll smell the bloody man. Well, Tothan, the planet. You know, we were coming Is here. That... Yeah. Yeah. For the new yeah, ship. Tothan. The new ship. Remember this. We're going to. We're gonna... you, you start walking mm -hmm. around to the viewing area and you can see now out, out the window. The, um, the the space station high nexus, a big circular section in the middle, docking prongs coming off of it. And you know that on top of the uh, station, there is the Traveller Aid Society Lounge, which is kind of the the posh, you know, business class lounge for all of the, the ship's captains and people with the membership cards, you know, and, and, and functions and those kinds of things. And you can see vaguely in there that there's activity going on lots of people moving around in there um uh, you can also see uh karen you recognize them they're kind of protector small in-system ships moving about um and there seem to be a few a few of them but tothan is quite security conscious so mm -hmm. yeah no matter how much study i do i can never understand how they can get something that size to float <laughs> and she'll just drink from the jug <laughs> just, just go <laughs> plonk but, uh, yeah hold it out do you want some of this uh yeah why not i'll pass i'll, I'll... sniff it first I, I i assume it's a bloody mary i've seen the marquee drinking it it's either a bloody mary or some kind of protein shake it's both yeah <laughs> Well, that's unpleasant. 
The blood's not quite a taste. Of that, clearly. <laughs> Probably has an egg in it. I'm pretty but sure from it, what? Yeah. <laughs> which, kind, which kind of egg? Yeah. It's a it's a scourge bat egg. Ah yeah. oh, no. <laughs> Okay, so you guys looking out the window, staring at Tothan, the planet below uh, a couple of hundred years ago would have looked like a toxic wasteland. But now, through advanced technology, they are clearing the atmosphere and the seas are uh, blue again. And the land looks like it is coming back into bloom. Um, uh, Karen, the one positive thing you've seen so far is it looks like their environmental reclamation projects are are working at pace mm -hmm. uh, and you haven't been here for 30 years and you think it looks a little bit greener and a little bit bluer than you know when you were here before and, yeah. and for that to be visible from orbit after 30 years is, is impressive yeah. um we shall cut over to this the the promenade of the um of high nexus where professor plim and oh, no. frankie are sneaking along with a um with a with a protector. Okay. And and she's saying, it's um, it's over there, and you can hear the flapping. They're, they're, they're over there. You can hear the flapping noise of these creatures. Okay. And we think they've 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 broken into some sort of uh, warehouse structure, and they're they're trying to form a nest. We're not sure. Okay. Hey, Professor, um, you're the uh, animal expert. Uh, yes, that that sounds like the correct behavior we're going to be taking. Um, hmm. Well, we don't want to harm them, so, but they will likely be protective if they're starting to build a nest. So it's probably best not to bring the people with the guns. Uh, so I think I shall go in first. And if you hear screaming, that's your cue to come in and... <laughs> pull me out but i don't think that's the case but you know health and safety and all that it's an important part of all this uh, are, are you sure you, are you trained are you trained for this oh yes 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 it, when you work with animals it's 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 common parlance that you might get injured but it's always on you you know you've not read a signal properly or you've not taken the correct precautions so if anything happens in there it's on it's on my well-being uh, on my um, action, not the, the animals. So it's quite fine. However, I would like you to come in and pull me out of there because they can be quite nippy. And um, yes, I, I, I would prefer not to to succumb to any dire injuries. Since... We'll be fine. The yeah, professor here is an expert. He he can imitate the sound of a scourge bat perfectly. Listen to this. Oh, yes. Scaro! <laughs> Scaro! <laughs> Make an animal roll. <laughs> like it's in the Yay. room. <laughs> to see how close... Because if that's really close, now I have to imitate that noise <laughs> when I do this. <laughs> oh, wonderful. I don't think, I don't think I'll get that gear off. Oh, wait, how do I roll again? Oh, wait, there we go. Right, oh, my carriage. You're in big trouble if that's the mighty go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, everything's like normal, like difficulty and roll yeah, type yeah, and yeah. all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'll just roll then. Let's see what I got. Oh my oh, goodness! Yeah, <laughs> a minus two. Minus two effect. Yeah. Well, you you kind of make that noise, and the protector looks yeah. at you like, okay, okay. Well, yeah. um, I'll um, I'll I'll come back to, and you'd passed a few other protectors, and they were kind of keeping a little cordoned area, you know, mm -hmm. so that civilians and passers-by weren't kind of strolling into bat zone. So they're kind of keeping it, and she, and, and she steps back, and she's like. I can't hear you, Pete. Are you miming? <laughs> yeah, just no muttering into a little con okay. thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this guy's gonna fucking die. Oh, he's so fucked. Here. You might want to bring a bring a body bag. Yeah, this guy doesn't know shit. <laughs> okay, so she she steps back. Uh, she actually like she's got a, uh, there's a strap on her rifle, uh, which she kind of slings it around the back for now, so that she's ready. Because she keeps saying, "Dash in and pull me out." She's kind of like they're ready yeah of course um, yeah. to to grab you frankie are you uh, okay. going in with the professor yeah because i think i'll be the one that actually drags him out if <laughs> 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 i'm 
I'm just going to take my lead uh, from the professor and okay, not move much. Okay. Okay. She moves up and uses a security access um, wafer, and you can see that it's it's just a it's like a uh, a secure override security override kind of thing that she has that unlocks that door, and you assume probably it, any door up to a certain level. Is it attached to her on like a, a zippy string? Is it just in a pocket? It doesn't seem to be. It's just it uh, goes in a pocket and there's a little Velcro flap over the top. Okay. Old habits. Because even at tech level 13, Velcro is useful. Mm. Yeah. Well, Velcro is a tech level 15 invention. That's true. You know? yeah. yeah. We've seen in Men in Black. It's um, Exactly. You know. yeah. Um, yeah. So she does that and then steps back out of the way. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, then. Well, uh, I'm going to go in. I should note to the audience that if I'm going to be asked to do anything physical, my strength is four and my dex is five. <laughs> <laughs> they so can you're see gonna... your stats on the screen. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Wonderful. Yeah. Then, yes, you know how fucked I am. So, yeah, I'll go in. <laughs> um, uh, I'm just saying, I, I'm, I'm going to be trying to go in quietly, but I'm not trying to sneak up on them. I'm just trying to go in very peaceful. I'm not trying to make too much loud noise. Uh, so you go, you, you you open the door and you go in mm -hmm. and you enter into, uh, it looks like a facility where the last stage of product management is done, where labeling and packaging is done rather than manufacture. Uh, mm -hmm. So there are a few sort of small areas, conveying conveyor belts, machinery, those kinds of things going on. Uh, and there's stairs going up to like a higher floor interior kind of mezzanine level in this high kind of warehouse structure and there are a few it's not like got loads of beams and things but there are one or two kind of little supports in the in the roof um look like just some kind of uh, a backup structural integrity just in case there's a problem with the the, the station mm -hmm. <clears throat> and you kind of walk in and you can hear around you <laughs> <laughs> kind of up above, up above ah, you. Scourge chickens. <laughs> ah, yes. No, it's the. Uh, I, I believe they are the um, the mercury uh, strain. Yes, that's the species. I was doing. I was doing the Venusian. You know, <laughs> at that time, it's a different mating call. It's it's very strange. Anyway, I nod and take his word. <laughs> yes. Now that I hear them. Uh, hmm, right. Well then, Frankie, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't have a plan on how to catch these. We have no equipment. We don't have nets. I mean, I have a, a medical box and that's about it. So yeah, let's uh, look around the room. I mean, there are yes. boxes in here, right? Minimum. We could <laughs> throw a box, box over one. Uh, uh, we'll have a, an investigate on an eight plus oh. or an intellect on a 10 plus oh my oh my god leon have you ever tried throwing a box accurately it's really hard i threw a wrench at a guy once it's oh oh <laughs> did he dodge uh, it? <laughs> uh, it so it's it's between intellect or investigation if you have investigate skill then it's an eight plus if nope. you have if you don't then it's intellect on a on a 10 plus so yep. difficult do i just hit intellect roll intellect straight off yep there it is oof yeah as i said i'm not very bright <laughs> <laughs> i got really bad stats effect that's okay minus eight effect minus six okay <laughs> <clears throat> so it's quite dark in here um mm -hmm. and you start trying to quietly look around for the right size kind of box to capture a scourge bat in. And you die. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. You open a box that's already okay. full of scourge bats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's our job done for us. That's the nest box. Um, <laughs> uh, now, as you're as you're looking around, uh, uh, Plim, 
you've you've knocked some boxes over. I mean, an effect of minus eight. That's you rolled a two. That's critical failure. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and a stack of boxes fall over, and a load of empty plastic containers kind of slide out whoosh, across the floor, and one just like does that really annoying long spin. Oh yeah. <laughs> and you're like it's, and as it does a scourge bat flies down and picks the container up um, and as it does its claws slice through it oh, and yes. this plastic container which is like a large Tupperware box kind of thing oh, no. you know this kind of size um, kind of the two ends of it boom, fall onto the floor as the scourge bat kind of slices through it taking the midsection with it no. We're going to cut over to Kona Carl. Luckily, Professor Plim always wears his ecologist's armor. <laughs> Very true. I have no armor. <laughs> uh, Kona, you are in the Tubrak and you've just received your message, haven't you, about heading to yes. a, a location also in high orbit. But a where bit further around the planet. There was the opportunity, or so I was led to believe, for managing to do a one-stop shop for all of our rare equipment. Yep, because yep. you'd Specialist been scouting around goods. and you'd failed. Yeah. But someone had detected your activities and sent you a message, an invitation, if you will. Yeah. Yeah, on Craigslist. <laughs> so it's going to be perfectly fine. <laughs> Completely. Totally safe. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to calm, um, not Hiller, that was the wrong pilot, Frankie. Frankie. I'm going to calm Frankie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> in the back of no, no. the warehouse. <laughs> Have it set loud normally because it's got to get over the sound of yeah, the engines. Loud, vibrate, <laughs> yeah. Like it, it, it does the horse bang. Lights come on. Uh, are you going to, are you going <laughs> to, yeah, gonna answer and duck down. On the... Wait, no, I'm gonna answer it, but I'm gonna duck and roll after I've stopped it ringing. So I'm in a different place. <laughs> okay, so you duck and roll. Yep. Oh, and just just after you roll out of the way behind some other boxes, a scourge bat comes down <laughs> and flies past. Oh. Are you busy? Oh. What's up? Why are you whispering? I don't want to get my face clawed off. Oh my oh. heavens, look at the wingspan of these creatures. <laughs> I was just going to say, if you if you were at a loose end, I could use a pilot. Where are you? A Heading back busy. to the ship? I'm sure we'll be there soon. Okay. You know the best way to take down scourge bats from far away <laughs> inside some kind of armored box. Thanks, Kona. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to make a difficulty ten roll because you were uh, no twelve actually because you were whispering, weren't you? Yeah. Uh, to see if one of the scourge bats hears you enough to attack you. Mm. Oh, just missed by one. Oh, I love so you can hear some flapping around above you and like something scratching on a, the stanchion above your head, but you don't get attacked. Okay. Is there, is there a more sturdy container somewhere? Or Wait, well, I'll, I'll get, I'll get back. Oh, sorry. I'll get back to you in a minute. Yep. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> so Kona, you've had that brief conversation. What are you up to now? Well, I'm going to head back towards the ship. I might pick up something from a food vendor on the way. Okay. Um, as you head back, you see a um, a Tothan janitor um, uh, and three protectors around the uh, the, the the trolley. You know, the kind of cleaning trolley with mops and vacuum things and all that kind of stuff. Three protectors around the this this janitor. Two of them are searching the the trolley. 
and the the third is is talking to this to this person i'll go up to them excuse me protectors uh, i'm so i'm i'm very sorry we're we're so some we're... friends of mine are in trouble um scourge bats they're pinned down in a warehouse oh we're aware of the scourge bat situation the professor uh, as i've been informed has volunteered to help us with the problem uh yeah, there. he's, he's a one of the people off. that's pinned down I'm uh, there, are, there are, there's a team uh, associated with that um right now so um I, like, I just wanted to give you a heads up i'm concerned is all the I'm sorry, but I've got to deal with this situation. If you could please uh, move sure, along. Sure, sure, I understand. Which ship are you? Um, which ship are you on? I can uh, come the, and find you later to see if the, the situation has been ship. rectified. Oh yes, yes. Uh, nice maneuver on the way in. Not me, but yeah, good pilot. The person that they're talking to is looking um, abashed, eyes down but looks up at you um, sort of caught side eyes, you know, and you get a sense of... Um, do a brush past. Yeah, make a deception roll. Oh, yeah. Uh, normal difficulty? No, it's going to be it's going to be difficult because they're very close and they're watching this person. Okay. <laughs> no advantage got... or disadvantage you, you, it goes so badly you end um... up putting something of your possession in their pocket oh no I, I did a That's reverse it a brush past <laughs> or it's your keys oh no fuck there we go okay 12 cool. effective 2 so um, now Karen, just remind me, you'd given something to your friend to give to Professor Plim? Uh, no, it was the other way around. He was going to bring, he's got... Oh, yeah, sorry. No, yeah, 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 that's cool, that's cool. Um, you get, uh, and Kona, I assume you're not, you're you're going to bump into them. You get like a, a thing popped in your pocket. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm good at this. This is literally my job. So I'll do the brush pass and try yep. and... Because the guy's side eyeing me. Yeah. Yep. And he's obviously got something. You don't get three policemen to stop a janitor. So, you know, I'm just assuming that he's passing me his drug stash and I'm going to head off with it. And then he's going to owe me a favor. Yeah. yeah in, in, in what you have is a very old fashioned note on a piece of paper. Yeah. <sighs> No, I mean, so I'll walk away a little bit before I take it out of my pocket and read it. Mm -hmm. Kick a kick a can. Mm. It says on the on the paper, um, friend of Karen. The handwriting looks really rushed. Friend of Karen, and then there's an address which is on the station. Um, it looks like it's one of the kind of warehouse sanitation buildings. Oh well, I'll um, I'll come, Karen. Then. Okay. Um, and he probably interrupts like some sort of sobbing, like I went to school with thirty of them, <laughs> and just snot and cry in. <laughs> I don't know how um how how the doctor is taking this, but Karen is in full full. Drunk old lady mode. I really think you ought to calm down. Are you sure you don't want some of this? <laughs> that, the, and I'll squeeze it a little bit so some spurts out in. The needle is <laughs> thicker than my arm. Karen. Karen. Yes. As me. Yes, I am. I am me. Uh, do you know a janitor on the station? No, I don't know any. Uh, why would I know a janitor? Well, he's just given me a note with your name on it. Oh, is, is yeah, no, he's not a janitor. He's a scientist. They just made him be a janitor because they're dicks. Well, they're arresting him at the minute and he's passed off this note to me. 
Um, I once knew. I once knew a doctor mm. who pretended to be a hairdresser. <laughs> no, he, he's not a hairdresser. Um, no, do you want me to go to this address? Because um, I know you're not keen on coming out of the ship. Um, I probably shouldn't have drank all this Bloody Mary. Um, probably not. That's not a good idea, but I. Uh, he might have all my research. That might be his shed. Ah. So, yes, you want me to go and get it then? I would very much like my research, yes. Okay, could you pop a little bit of dehydrogenase? Um, I, I need to take a trip off station, and it sounds like you might want to come too. Oh, I can pilot a small craft. I learnt that. That'd be handy, just in case Frankie gets eaten by a bat. Oh. Well, it's good to know they've finally managed to repopulate the bats on Totham. Um, yeah, they're not on Totham. They're in a warehouse on the station. Scourge bats. Why are they keeping them in a warehouse on the station? They should be in the jungles on the planet. Tim's the expert. He's the one to talk to. You could give him a call if you want to know more details. So I'm going to go and pick up this package of yours. Yeah. You give Tim a call and see what he's doing with the bats and how quick he's going to be because field trip. Okay. Shopping. Shopping. I haven't done shopping for ages. Okay. Um, and I'll probably not hang up. I'll just put the phone or the whatever it is down. Oh, I love it. Yes. <laughs> just put it down on the side. Just like, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of like, uh, Fortunately, I can hang up with my brain. <laughs> yes, I know. I know. Just put it down. Leave it on. Um, and I guess I'll go about trying not to be as drunk as um, an Endurance 4 character gets. Surely Dr. Rooster's got something for that. Yeah. <laughs> Hitting uh, the needle again. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, what, what's our tech level on Earth at the minute? Aren't we like tech level eight or nine or something? Uh, just about eight. Because de alcohol dehydrogenase in capsule form should only be about tech level nine. Oh, yeah, you can get your hands on. You can get your hands on those. Just whether or not it Well, In fact, you know, the Marquis probably got a stash in his quarters somewhere. I've got I've got some. I've got some stim. Uh, <laughs> no, that'll give me a heart attack. Uh, panaceas. Um, I've got some medical slow drug. That's good. I love uh, the idea that Artie's just I've going through his pockets. Yeah, yeah. So like, if we uh... mix them two together, yeah, Look. I've got a feeling that we'll have a concoction that will be just right. Yeah, not too this... warm, not too cold. Yeah. In my um. Inebriated oh, state, oh. I'll I'll <laughs> agree to some sort of sh cocktail that will sober me up and uh, quick. I'll oh, I'll bang okay. twenty cc's of stim into her. <laughs> I die. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like to think the camera pans away just as uh, Karen agrees to it, and Doctor Rooster pulls out a big needle. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, but Karen does that thing where you look away from the injection. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's just like. Yeah. yeah. All right. And then we cut to Plim and <laughs> Frankie cowering beneath a, a metal grill staircase. Oh, no, I, I uh, as they I'm spot cowering. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. As you okay. spot across the way at the perfect size container. <gasps> it looks like a lightweight kind of durable plastic container that you think would be large enough, Plim, to hold a scourge bat inside could probably poke a few holes in it as well so it could breathe mm -hmm. um oh, you need and, another 20 and and all you'll need to do is to to run across the the or sneak across up to you however you want to do it okay. uh get across the open area of the warehouse to grab the box right i'm about to shock the world and say it really wouldn't matter which one i pick because they're both not good stats but it's okay okay right Blim. yes if you go across and get okay. the container, mm -hmm. I'll yes. stay under the stairs, but I'll make noise so they they can't get me through the stairs. I follow. Yes. Okay, that's a or, good idea. Yeah. Uh, or do you want me to get the container? No, no, no. I, I'll I'll get it. I I've gotten us into this into this sticky wicket, so I'll 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 be the one that gets us out. Um. Okay. Whew. It's fine. It's fine. They can just decapitate someone that's. Four paces, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, I go. Uh, 
I have. You're going to do athletics, dexterity, or uh, or stealth. Of I. Are they both dex based? Because I'm just making a. Like, they are both dex based. Would I just roll like dex then? Because I don't have a skill in stealth. Oh, okay. Athletics. So it's minus three. Yay. <laughs> uh, is minus three um, like very difficult? Like as a like as a difficulty. Um. um uh, what's your what's your stat modifier? Five. It's a minus one already. It's a minus one. So you're minus a, four. Yeah. So uh, well, just roll. Just roll two d six minus four. Okay. And I'll start making noise. <laughs> okay. uh, oh, and I make the I've same noise that I made earlier. I'm gonna pull my phone out. Well, my phone, my communicator, and set that off. <laughs> minus. Oh, okay. Four. Cool. Um, how do I do it again? I do. You can R2D6. have two d six. Yep. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, minus slap four. forward slash oh uh, slap forward slash yep. okay sorry it's been it's been a hot minute since i had to it's okay <laughs> don't worry uh, you just sent oh. a message you just spoke rather than uh, did i okay oh, it rolled it rolled it, oh, did it, it didn't minus the four though i don't oh. think when anybody types things in chat, it comes up from the little spaceship that says somebody's saying it. That's what <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, me. oh, yeah. right, weird. Oh. Okay, uh, so wait, you rolled, you rolled six, a six. Minus one would be four five. Is... My... Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that checks out. Yeah, Two. Because I got the high. <laughs> I could... So Jesus. you run across the... I'm dead. <laughs> Bingly beep. Oh, you have got a re-roll. You just got a re-roll. But... <laughs> it's not going to... But Thank you, though. I, I appreciate Frankie it. Frankie sets off. He yeah. starts playing like some annoying Tothan jingle on his mobile phone. Uh, and let me see. Annoying. It's enough to distract the creature. Composed by the most intellectually perfect clone possible. That's why it's the music. most annoying jingle. <laughs> oh, okay. I see because then it there. gets in. Mm -hmm. I, I, was thinking, do, 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 do. I was going to say, I could roll science do, 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 do. xenology to know okay. something. But... So, it, it hears that. And it actually goes for... Um, <laughs> it goes for Frankie. <laughs> what I'd like, how I'd like to have angled it is that I've got my arm through the staircase. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the so is it going to be quick enough to bite your hand off? And whip my hand through. Well, I I like or the mate, idea. If it bites your hand off, I'm already in the market for one new arm. If we can get a pair, you'll be laughing. I you oh, have one, two well, it's buy one get one free. Um, but I, I just like the idea. Of... We're fine. Yeah. <laughs> two doctors. I've got a doctor now. Yeah. So you oh, count yeah, as I, you count as hiding, Frankie. Yeah. And what that means is, you get a bonus to your armor. Yeah. From the from the the, the stairs and the stanchion behind you. You're, you're physically blocked by it, but if it just tears through it, even yeah. as you're pulling your hand through and say claws through the step and like cuts you, then you might be hurt. Um, but we're going to say this is similar to, it's not, uh, there's different levels of cover. Lowest being vegetation. It's thicker than vegetation, but it's not quite a stone wall. So I'm going to go for tree trunk. I'm going to give you plus six to your armor. Okay. Now it's going to attack you, so it's still an eight plus, but your armor is that much higher. Okay. Okay. So I six and it is LA claws. One. That's two six plus one. Um <laughs> can we say these are solid granite stairs? <laughs> No, no, unfortunately not. <laughs> um, <laughs> attach the phone to the tip of a spear. I like it. <laughs> uh, it needs an eight plus. Oh, here we go with an effect of two. So we have a hit. Like it's like that thing from um, Galaxy Quest. Can you can you see a rudimentary lathe? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, effective an attack roll is always applied to the damage of a weapon. Unless Go on, Jack. You've not got long before this one runs out. Bat or fingers? Bat or fingers? <gasps> There's a prediction. Uh -huh. I, I, I am so sorry, Leon, because this has been my harebrained scheme and you're the one paying <laughs> the price for it time and time again. We can fix no, the fingers. Don't worry about it. It hits you yeah. and it does 1D. 
damage plus its effect of two because it rolled a oh, 10 geez. versus eight. So it's plus two. So we're going to roll uh, 1d6 plus two damage. This could However, kill me. Frankie, how, how much how, armor how, do you how have chunky are anyway? You in terms of health. Do you have any Next armor anyway? Uh, Diplo vest three. If that's allowed on the station. Otherwise, I'm not wearing it if they weren't allowed. Diplo vest is allowed. It Does it cover your arm? It won't cover my hands, though, will it? Diplo uh, vest. But, uh, this is one of those situations. We, so your armor from that is three. Yeah. Plus six from the staircase. It can't even really hurt you. So it's claws scrape <laughs> just where your hand was <laughs> across the metal. Whip my hand back in. <laughs> um, is this enough of a kerfuffle to draw the attention of another uh, bat? No, it's not. Oh, um, oh well, I'm dead then. <laughs> Plim, I got yep. Plim, you get across yep. to the container. Yay! So now I've got this really win. big box. Hold it up! <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I, I went to kind of do the ah! I like turn rims and then close my, it. Hopefully. My next move, I don't know how quick he's at. I want to throw my phone into the container. <laughs> okay, cool. I love it. You I love it. Awesome. Hit me in the head with it. <laughs> <laughs> So this is just going to be because because you're in a tense situation. Yeah. It's just going to be a dex roll. Yeah. But it's going to be um, routine six plus because as I said, it's a big it's a you know it's a big plastic container that you're just like. See, but it's like what what we all don't know is that Frankie was the captain on the uh, space basketball team. So. Uh... He's got a really good arm purchase. He's LC Ashford's great, 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 great. Wow, that's that's pretty good. That's really good. That's perfect. In one. It no, it bounces off the rim. No, it just goes straight into the container. Um and let's have a look. You might want to hold on. And a bat hears it. It's successful. It detects. It recons your phone and swoops in. <sighs> Plim, are you quick enough to shut the lid? Probably not. No, let's, but let's have a pretend. dex roll from you. Ah, it's, yes. It's going to be a dex roll, but it'll be routine six plus because you're just closing a lid. Okay. But you've got to do it in time. Uh, oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's okay. So, yeah. dung, the lid shuts and you kind of pop the clips up that hold, mm -hmm. hold the lid on. <laughs> Uh, and you have a bat in a box. Okay. 40 more to go. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Can't be that many. I only had one communicator. <laughs> <laughs> you can um, hear a few more up in the up in the roof. Can I oh, I guess it's a really like elaborate way of asking this. Um are these I, I, I don't know if this be like xenology or like animal or whatever. Like are these animals particularly social? Because I'm thinking if I've got one of them in the box, the rest are going to be fixated on getting that one out of the box. So all we have to do is pull the yeah box into a place where we can make a make a make an animal roll to see if you if you know if this is a fact. Oh, Routine well. animal roll. Okay. <laughs> so let's just put Karen gets a call. The bat wants to complain. Accommodation's <laughs> terrible. Uh, it's fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> no, fuck no. You give me all these options sure. and chances. Well, oh, no, fail. hang on. Um, so that's you've just failed. Yes. Oh, yeah, just failed. That's well, just red, red, so it can't be good. So it's effect <laughs> minus one. Go. I. It's because. Uh, you rolled a two. Rolled oh, two okay. ones. Uh, oh, okay. well, there isn't a critical fail thing, though, is there? No, not really. So, <laughs> it's not Cthulhu where even the dice hate you. You can pass, but as you drag the box away, you uh, fall over and hurt yourself, taking yep. two points of damage. That goes on endurance. endurance. Yeah, well, that's which means it's good. temporarily reduced yeah. by two. Uh, would I just put that in a little... Yeah, I would just do that because it's a little red thing, so I presume... Yeah. yeah. Okay, there we go. Minus two. So. What was your, your original endurance? My original was seven. Now it's okay. 
five. So you, you like sprain your ankle as you kind of pull the box away, but you're, you're pretty sure that these creatures will, will, oh yeah, busted your shins, box bangs into your legs. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you're pretty sure that these other creatures will probably follow one of, they seem to be very social, clustering in a group. They moved here together. You know, you mm-hmm. think if you were to move this one away, they, there's a chance they, they may come with you. And as you pull it towards the door, you can hear the flapping above you kind of moving <laughs> Yes. Towards the the front of the front of the warehouse by the door, it's like a like a big beehive just like flapping angrily, and I'm just sitting there like, oh, go dear. <laughs> okay, I run up to Plim and basically grab him by the collar and drag him out the way. No, 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 Frankie, Frankie, because if I come out here with the box, then they're all gonna. Oh wait, mm. well, where are we taking them, Plim? <laughs> well, that mm, I. I'm thinking, I think I will have at least moved over to where Plim is. Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah, no, no, I know. Uh, mm, you want to do mm, a stealth move uh, that, or? Yeah, yeah, you'll need to do a little stealth. So you, oh, is Dex or is that a skill? Stealth uh, is a skill, right? Stealth is a skill, yeah, but it's. Oh. I'm pretty sure it's governed by Dex. Do but if you don't have, have it, then it, yeah, you'll be at a default. Minus like three. Was. Yeah. This should be a default skill thing at the top. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure if this oh, allows you to roll. I didn't see. Well, I just rolled. I just the, yeah, it's fine to just the roll. decks with just the yeah. negative that you gave me. Uh, oh. Do you say difficult? Or is it average? Uh, no, no, it's not. It's actually routine. You're just covering. You're kind of sneaking around to the edge. Okay. Okay. So even with a minus three, you got a nine. So you passed. So you get across to Plim quietly. Where are we going? So um, I have two ideas. Um, one is that I stay here and you, yes, yes, they're quite angry. And you get the protectors to get a big net that we throw over them. Or, or we both go and get a big net. Let's tell the protectors to come back with a big net because they're going to stick for this one in the box. <laughs> well, yes, that's the plan. But I'm just concerned the minute we leave the warehouse, they're going to flap around and Unlock generally... the box. <laughs> well, no, it's not. It's more the havoc that they'll cause. Like, because the big, the well, not big game hunters, but like the hunter folk are just standing there with their guns. Are they not? Or have they been seen off? They've been, they're, they're at the cordon. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Not, so I, yeah. yeah, I don't want to bring the bats out then mm-hmm. if they're there. Because they'll just go gun toting crazy. Um, is that the Sudanicans with the guns? Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. And just... as we just as we discussed, it's 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 especially pathetic because these are basically like mice, <laughs> like in in the concept of these are just animals that get filmed on like look at my sewn yeah. up sleeve. <laughs> well, they are, but like basically mice. <laughs> well, they mice are small, can bite really hard, but yeah. they're kind of like. Um, uh, like a goose size creature. It, it, yeah, it's still a bit. Never mind. Yeah. Um, well, if we just sort of size where you want to be bombing them with your T16 rather than hunting them with rifles. <laughs> just big enough that when they flap in your face, you freak the fuck out. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Um, the guards just outside the protector. Yeah. They can if, rustle some people up super quick. Yes. If um, I'll stay here though because I think that I, I'm I'm concerned that the people outside might come in while we're not here, so I just want to be extra sure. Okay, I'll okay. Go tell the protector. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll don't be fine. get your face clawed off. Oh, it's quite all right. I'll be fine. I'm gonna head towards the door, stealthily sneak out. Okay, uh, you, you step out. You step out. It's not. It's not far to the door. You're very close to the door. So you kind of sneak out. You get out. Um, uh, Hill Kajar is uh, still there. Uh, and she says, well, what's, what's going on? Professor has it all under control. Uh, he's managed to capture one of them inside a box. They'll be very protective now, and, and they, won't, they won't travel further down into the warehouse. They'll, they're quite agitated by the fact that one of them is now cornered. Uh, if you could get more protectors here now with nets they should be easier to catch because they'll be homing in on the location oh excellent um, the professor's staying in there with the box 
because he's very smart and knows what he's doing. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure about that last bit? I'm not, but he is. So <laughs> he is the bat expert. Okay, well, uh, she kind of steps back a, a moment and says, I need a team of protectors with nets, maybe stunners. Um, yeah, down down now. If you could turn For that the down, that <laughs> And a medical team. And large. He's, he's concerned this is going to come in and shoot the bat. So he, he kind of wanted this. Well, yeah, we don't want that, do we? Don't want that. But um, that um, Eroden uh, junk trader really needs to be a bit more careful about when he opens his, his uh, cargo bay. Can, can he come down? He wasn't transporting them, they were just hijacking. hijacking. They, they'd nested in his one of his containers. Oh. Uh, it seems that. Uh, that Dyson sphere they investigate has bats on it. Oh, okay. Odd. Okay, well, I'll get bit. them down. I'll get them down here. Yeah. Okay, I've just so we'll cut... count. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll cut over to uh, Kona. Yeah, uh, you've returning to the sh- return to the ship? No, I'm going to that address. Are you going to that address? Okay. Yeah. So, you head back then. You'd, you'd sort of been nearer that area previously. You've gone back towards the ship, seen the protectors. You're going back out, and as you um, you head out there, there it. This looks like a, a sanitation building, not like a a processing facility because you've seen there are those here, uh, but more of an equipment storage kind of sanitation um, thing. And at the bottom of the piece of paper there's a, a, a string of letters and numbers uh and as you approach there is a security pad on the on the door i'll punch in the numbers okay the door the door opens nicely oh, that saved me a lot of time the, the 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 kind of street lamps in this area don't seem to be working as well as other areas shame And then we're going at full industrial espionage mode. I don't care if this is just a dodgy shed. I'm an elite corporate hacker and espionage agent. I'm going to work. So you're already you're you're like your brain's humming up your wafer jack and you've got your tools yep. and your gear. You walk in and in the middle of a room with mops all around the edges, there is a nice box in the middle of the room. That's really suspicious. Who puts a nice box in the middle of the room like that? It, it looks like one of the, you know, when you see someone in an American TV show get fired yeah. from a co- office job and they have their box of stuff. One of those, you know, one of those boxes with a little lid on top. Right, I will check it over. Okay, so you open it up. I mean, presumably he wasn't you... expecting anybody to be coming and getting this. No, that lo- that stinks like a trap. A banker box, that's the one. Mm-hmm. So you sort of walk around it, see if you can see anything dodgy going on. Um, is there anything you can roll to see if you can? Do I get deception? I've got electronics. That's not going to help. I've got stealth. I've got streetwise. Streetwise might do it. Yeah, kick streetwise. It, kick it with athletics. <laughs> I don't have <laughs> athletics. Don't ruin my research. Oh, yeah. My streetwise is the thing telling me that it's a bit okay. sus where it is. But th- now you're thinking about it, the, n- the nature of the note, the look on their face, this feels like last minute rather yeah. than suspicious. Um, and this box, actually, how you can see there are hand marks in dust on the top of the box. Okay, um, I'm going to take like the lid off the box somewhere. and take a look inside then. There's a load of papers, folders, um, sort of large manila envelopes with stuff in. There's there's um, iPads for, <laughs> you know, uh, slates and that kind of thing uh, in there as well. There's a variety of things. Um, this would take me hours to basically photo with my brain i'm gonna to have to just take the yeah. whole damn box on I? yeah yeah there's also a small um a kind of miniature statue uh, or kind of ornament which is a um a dna helix 
probably some kind of award. Right, well, um, is there anything like a carry-all or a big bag that I can put this in so I'm not walking around with the dusty old file box? There is a sanitation services kind of carry-all, oh, large no, bag. Bin bag. No. Bin bag? Is a bin comes, bag? It comes back and he's like, I think the oh, bin bag okay. is going to look less sus than the, the sanitation bag. They, they just mm. took my stuff. Great. Yeah, that's uh, great. <laughs> yeah, we'll take the sanitation bag, but all this, put, if the box will fit in the sanitation bag, the whole thing can go in. If not, I'll yep. carefully take everything out and transfer it. No, it pretty much fits. These are kind of big. <laughs> oh, that one. So oh, that won't fit in that one. I'll chuck that one out. It's like the key research. Uh, no, no, no. It, it all fit. It, it all fits in. I've stolen enough scientific data in my time to know you don't empty a box like that. Mm. True. Otherwise, the post-it notes get shuffled. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's tr that's very true. That's very true. Don't want to mess up those post-its. No. Transfer so, yeah, it to you... the sanitation bag. Mm -hmm. Carry it out. Okay. Head to the so ship. So you you head back to the ship. Um, as you're arriving in the kind of your, your docking prong, your the area outside of it, you you do see uh, an a larger number of protectors moving around however um you're aware that there's some sort of shindig going on and you can see the the elevator that goes up to the tas lounge um is being guarded by uh, protectors well i will take off my um long coat and mm -hmm. lay that over the sanitation sign on the bag like it's just mm -hmm. a bit warm when i'm carrying with my bag with my coat hanging through the straps sure. and stuff to hide sure. the sanitation logo mm -hmm. i just walk onto the ship okay you walk onto the ship and uh you find um karen and arjun um doing some <laughs> sort of stims or something you're not sure um arjun is an elusive figure and you haven't really spoken to him a hell of a lot but you know he's a doctor uh, and the two of them are just kind of chatting as you arrive in, in the ship. Having fun? Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, Mary got very bloody and, um, um, yeah, she fell over. So, uh, yeah, uh, we, we um, yeah. Okay. And it was, Great. it was really... Poor. It sounds like it was touch and go for a minute there. Good job Ooh. you were on hand, Doc. Yeah. Uh, speaking of doctors, uh, I'll hand her the sanitation, sand, Karen, the sanitation bag. And put my coat back on. I'll look at it and be like, have you got rubbish? No. You don't I've bring rubbish on the ship. Your, I, I've got all I spent of your a lot research. of time cleaning. Research. I've got all of your research that I've transferred into the bag rather than carry a file box around the station. I think it's really important, yeah, mm -hmm. that you're struggling and, you know, I've been counselling you for the last hour. I think it's really important you douse that in some form of uh, flammable liquid <gasps> and satellite to it, therefore no. burning all your past and uh, healing, no. healing with fire. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, I think this, this is important research, Doc. No. I, there was an award or something in there as well. I didn't know you'd won an award. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I, I, I look uh, in the box. I, uh, so like, yeah. I won uh, employee of the uh, month, I think. At uh, Dr. Rooster's Chicken Hut. <laughs> Which man? Good award, that. <laughs> the last <Did> one. <laughs> the, the, the medicine you gave me, is it what you've been taking? <laughs> yes. Oh, gosh, I'm going to die. 
<laughs> oh, I feel really uh, good. Did you give her any medicine? <laughs> no, no, I didn't. Well, other than the the medicine of the research, but that's a oh. bit cheesy. This, this is what this is the bit where you just nod and smile. Karen, this yeah. has got some really important documents in it. This box. Yes. And if the Tothan authorities knew you had this box, they would probably destroy your ship. Yes. To be and fair, if they knew we it. had Karen on the ship, they'd probably destroy the ship. <laughs> to be and fair, if they, they knew Arjun was on the ship. Yeah. If they knew um, who half of us were, yeah, actually, absolutely. they'd probably destroy us. <laughs> yeah. But this in particular, and that DNA strand that you've got mm -hmm. a model of, that's the strand. Oh, right. Okay. That's ever present in your mind. Yes, I know what that strand is. All right. Um, can, I, can I make a real effort to to sort of tune myself into a uh, um, Karen and uh, see see what so like? Uh, oh, 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 secrets. Okay. What what are you going to do, Arjun? Sorry, Rooster. Are you? Who knows? I, I got to know who I am. Um, <laughs> Not Rooster. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna sort of uh, lock in with my mad eyes and I'm going to look at the box and then look back at her and then look at the box and then look back at Karen again. Is this box. part cut like um, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas? Shh. 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 It's better than the alternative, which was seven. What's in the box? <laughs> Don't tell her about the bats. I read your mind there, Ben. Yeah. You were somewhere um, around the spaceship yeah. on the edge of Totham when the drugs <laughs> began to kick in. Okay, what, what are you doing, Jim? I'm going to try and read her mind. Okay. What what, what power are you using? Telepathy. Okay. It'd be funny if it was telekinesis. <laughs> you you, you slam Karen into a wall. <laughs> Tell me what this is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm using my mind powers to Tele work it out. Telepathy. <laughs> <laughs> um, is that read surface thoughts? Um, yes. <laughs> The most commonly known feature of telepathy is the ability to read the thoughts of other individuals. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Current current thoughts are read by this ability. So what you need to do is spend two so temporarily what will happen is your size score will go down by two after you've <laughs> used it. But you need to make a psi roll and get eight plus. Psi roll. I'm oh, sorry, telepathy roll. Have you got that as a skill? Yeah, I've got a yeah. Yeah. So make have you made Psy the attribute for it? Yes. Okay, so roll that skill. Ho 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 success. So oh. um I think everybody else knows. Do you want to take our headphones off? Yeah, or? take your headphones off. Take your headphones off. Um Nye, Leon. Oh, we're doing Bear. a bit of alien shenanigans. Doing a bit of alien shenanigans. Right. Um, what's your surface thoughts, Karen? Well, as I'm as I'm looking in the box and realizing yeah, what's that, going on in your head? Um, um, shit, we've got we've got actual proof that um, the genetic authority has been basically manipulating the Totten people completely against all the laws, and and doing exactly what they're not supposed to do. Shit. Shit. Oh, we're going to die. There you go. Yeah. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take a short break. Oh. Yeah. Um, in and my and two hangovers. <laughs> yeah. Um, and while I get the night bar up, okay, I've got a giveaway. Someone... Is going to win a copy of the Traveller Companion. The very companion, cool companion, companion. physical or PDF. Physical Ooh. and PDF, I believe. Wow. Um, but yes, you get the physical book, uh, which is a lovely book and a great quality. Um, <laughs> so people are putting uh, suggestions for the hashtag in our Zoom chat right now. Um, so I'm going to go over to the giveaways. Don't type anything in chat just for the moment, people. Just bear with us. 
let me get into this okay, giveaway and go for a keyword and we are going the keyword is going to be bats just hashtag bats b-a-t-s uh, so punch that into the chat we are going to take a short break uh, and when i come back i'm going to check everyone who's entered and whether they're eligible or not and then we'll do the draw um, but uh, until then uh, please stay with us go and refresh your drinks and your snacks we'll be back in five or ten minutes and uh, we'll see you for part two Hello and welcome back to part two of episode four of Feudal Stars, our Mega Meta Traveller show. Before the break, we had said to everybody, enter hashtag bats into the chat and you will be entered in a, uh, a draw for the Traveller Companion, the physical copy of the Traveller Companion, which is this lovely little book here. Um, not this copy, this is mine. Uh, you'll get one from our wonderful sponsors, at Mongoose Publishing, who are sponsoring the show. I just want to say also a big thank you to Millie for all the awesome intros, outros, transitions, and <laughs> fancy hexagon shit that's going on without <laughs> us even knowing. It's amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. It's all good fun. Okay. Cricket bats. Love it. Uh, okay, cool. So, right, here we go. We are going to roll it, as it says on the, on the night bot, and three... Two, one. Sounds like a. Narad Nidzeka, you Yay! are the winner. Yay! Hey. Narad Nidzeka, long time friend of the channel and occasional oh, guest player um, <laughs> on, on a couple of our shows Wild Sea and the uh, Orc special for uh, Wrath and Glory, which was nuts. That was just crazy. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> night before Nobbus, that was mental. Okay, cool. Right. So, before the break, uh, we had the bombshell of Arjun reading the surface thoughts of Karen and finding out that she has some super top secret information about what the Tothan Genetic Authority is really doing to its people. But, Kona, you have arrived, you're there. And uh, you have this. Uh, sorry, I always I always tend to bend just as just as just they put something, something in their in mouth. Face yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, you ready to go shopping? Um, yes. Uh, is Got there... guns? Oh, I do actually. I have a gun. Yes. Guns, good. Knives, sharp sticks. I've got a knife. Words. <laughs> I have actually. I made this. <laughs> I mm. did. I made this. By myself. It's a anyway, toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> it's my knife from prison. I made a knife from prison. Um, yeah. First of all, I need somewhere safe to put this, so I'm going to go and hide my research somewhere in the ship. Okay. Okay. So you're going to take. You're going to do that properly. Um, I I feel like I should. Hide it under Bark Wahlberg. <laughs> Just put it under the, the I, superstar. Going anywhere. Yeah. Stick it in a low berth and leave it in the marquee's quarters. No one will expect a scientific breakthrough in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if you know, well, you can go on you the might floor. Use it as toilet paper, yeah, true. You could, uh, like unbolt one of the kind of panels on the bulkhead and put it into a recess behind there and then seal it up for now, which would take you like half an hour to do, you know, uh, before going in, and that would kind of no one would see it. It would be yeah. nicely tucked away. Yeah, something like that. Okay. So while you're doing that, we're going to cut back over to uh, Frankie and Professor Plim. And uh, Frankie, you're uh, are you waiting outside? Uh, or yeah, I can't. You... I can't just leave the professor alone. So, but okay. he said he's fine in there. So mm. I'll I'll wait until the other protectors arrive. Mm -hmm. But I'm kind of itchy because I've lost my communicator, and I know I need to go meet Kona back at the ship. Mm -hmm. He's got a flying task for me. So. 
tapping my foot, waiting. So you're waiting. Okay. Uh, Plim, yes. you are ducked down. And yeah. uh, the, the creature in the plastic tub is now kind of crooning in a, in a strange way. Uh, and, the, and the other scourge bats are, are clustering pretty much directly above you. But it seems like they are quietening down and, and kind of getting into a... You realise that there's a kind of strut across between the two walls. And it seems like they are clinging onto it and um, getting into a sleeping position, it seems, above you. Okay. And the one inside the box is starting to um, calm down. Okay. I assume you have poked a hole in the box. Of course, yes. I imagine, like, I, yeah, yeah, I've coming down either way. It's quietening down, yeah. 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 <laughs> no, no I, I will have done that. I'm sure I have. Like a two, like a scalpel or something in my med box, just to go pop, pop, pop. Obviously, away from its body. Sure. So it sure. can't get hurt. <laughs> yeah. Step back. Oh. Sorry, I watched the terror the other day. Um, oh, gosh. <laughs> um, so as you're doing this, it's getting quieter inside mm -hmm. the building. Starting to get. That, that's starting to be a bit eerie that they're now just sort of hanging above you, like almost above your head, sort of ten feet. 20, maybe 20 feet up. It's quite a big, you know, as I said, it's got two floors inside. Shows and you're kind of standing there. <laughs> and, and, and it's kind of this eerie silence. And then you hear footsteps outside. And, and Frankie, you see some protectors coming. And they have these kind of large um, net projectile guns. Yeah, net gun, yeah. Pacifier, man catcher, bat catcher. You know, uh, you're not sure what they're officially for. But they look like they'd be quite good for catching bats. Frankie's a bit embarrassed because he was thinking a giant butterfly net from when Plim described. <laughs> no, this is like, just gone like it's like a three. Balls. It's like of a gun with three prongs out the front yeah. with a net inside, and it. Yeah. yeah, why would it be a butterfly net? That's stupid. Yeah. <laughs> that would be Sudanicans with like giant butterfly <laughs> nets. That's that's who has giant butterfly nets. Okay. Right, uh, nice. and uh, and Teal, Teal says, uh, yes, uh, excellent, right. Um, uh, um, sorry, I don't think I actually caught your name. I'm Frankie. Frankie. Are you okay to lead the team in? You, you've seen the interior, you know the situation. Yeah, uh, I, don't, I don't want to suddenly burst in not knowing the, you know, yeah, that's actually fine. So we're going to go in and then a few feet in front of us, you're going to see the professor on the floor with a large container. There's uh, one of the scourge bats inside there. The others are going to be flapping around. Be quiet. They're pretty quick at homing in on noise. So, uh, yeah, anything to cock or get ready now. They all kind and, of uh, prime the, it's, it's got like a lever action kind of thing. And set your phone to your comms to silent. They all get their phones out. <laughs> Kona's just programming in a conference call to all of the protectors. Yeah, uh, have they only got a spare stun stick or something I can just grab? Will they let me have yeah, one? Yeah, they, they let you have a stunner. Okay. Yeah. Go up to the door. Slowly this open is the, the door. blim. <laughs> <laughs> Come with me back to the ship. Okay. You slowly the open the door. Stupid plan. And it's very quiet in there. Gonna creep in. We do. We'll come in. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk louder so everyone can hear me on the chat, but I'm actually whispering really <laughs> quietly. <laughs> I'm whispering just really close to the microphone. Signaling to come in. I'm gonna look at Blim and be like, where the fuck are the bats? <laughs> They're like looking around. They're up there. You've got to be very quiet. They're coming out of the goddamn walls, man. <laughs> <laughs> There. And they all look up together. And, they, and you and you all look up and you can see dangling from this strut four scourge bats that are slightly smaller than the one in the in the in the box. And they all look up <laughs> and they all line up together and they're like and they look at you for like 
I'm going to look over at Plim. Nod. Shout, shout fire. Yeah. Scare the crap out of them. Make them drop their guns. No, no. Loose. <laughs> An okay sign. Okay, and they all fire. <laughs> and the nets fly up into the air and wrap around the bats with little weights, t- you know, tying them up. Uh, and they kind of fall to the ground. And they, all of them kind of drop their guns and, and kind of catch these creatures that are kind of struggling and riding uh, mm-hmm. in the nets but they they kind of grasp them as i said they're kind of goose sized so yeah. you know uh, they're oven ready and they kind of grab them uh, in in both arms and they seem to be struggling them and start to start to leave and and they all kind of file out and teal comes in and says um well uh, uh thank you for your assistance uh, professor and 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 frankie uh, I, I think we would have had a merry chase around the warehouses and and all kinds of shots from the Sudanicans if these had been mm-hmm. not expertly tamed like yourselves, uh, by yourselves. Um, uh, um, uh, we, we, we were just going to simply return these to the to the to the Eroden trader who's um, uh, there. I don't know if you. Uh, and she kind of goes. Oh, is this- I don't mind. Um, you know if. If you want to keep that one, that's up to you. Um, um, uh, I guess I'll just ask him. Um, what is the likelihood that the traitor is going to take responsibility and take the animals back? I, I, I don't know. From what I heard, it, it's an unwanted nest. Right. So probably not. Yeah. And in fact... Do you know what often happens with these things? They turn up. Someone is checking their cargo over as they're coming in. Because of our our very thorough uh, laws uh, and regulations, yes. people often have to recheck their cargo when they arrive. Sometimes they find scourge bats in their hold that they weren't aware of. Yes. Now, some unscrupulous ones, very unscrupulous people, open them to vacuum, which is horrible. Yes. Some, however, don't have a choice because their cargo bays are docked with our ring and all they can do is release them into the station. I mean, this hasn't happened before, but I've heard about from other travellers since this has happened that this happens other places when people find, you know, and these scourge bats get around by nesting in cargo holds. People people aren't expecting it. So I think this is probably an unwanted um, nest that has been deliberately accidentally released into the station yes. so professor i'm perfectly happy for you to re- requisition this animal to test it for any kind of biological hazard we may need to worry you may need to worry yes she yes. says and kind of yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, what of the what of the other animals what will happen to them are we going to take them back to a ship oh okay ah right i follow yes I, it's that I just realized the bureaucracy of all like, oh, well, you, you lost these. We're giving them bad to He's like, oh, you shouldn't have. You shouldn't oh, have. Oh, yeah. Now yeah. I've got to open the other airlock. Oh. <laughs> uh, um, or, or round them up into a room with an airlock. <laughs> uh, Say to the professor, because I'm not quite following this. Are we taking all of these? I'd like to, but I have a feeling that Pete said I can only have one. <laughs> It's up to you. If you want to try and pers- to convince them that you should take all of them, then you can try. I, I would like to, because I, I, I have a feeling that this guy's just going to like kill them as soon as he gets them, because he just sees them as a nuisance. Um, okay. I'm assuming that's... Uh... Oh, I... oh, wait, oh, I have Diplomat, but that's not really the thing you would that, use. I know. Here. Yeah, oh, that, that could work. Okay. You Ooh. could call upon, you, you know, you, all of you, as you've been flying into the starport i've been reading all the diplomatic regulations and and all these kind of things you there may have been something in there that you could call upon to say oh there's a sub regulation 12.4 transport of animals must be conducted by a licensed vet yeah yes there you go there you go um what difficulty would this be would this be average or is it harder or easier she's quite um positively disposed to you okay so I would think it would be a routine roll. Okay. Oh, please. 
when you say she's positively predisposed to us, is that your way of saying Frankie's really attractive? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I know. Um, I go without Frankie, saying, Leon. Frankie, you're very I, attractive, but you are impure genetic scum. Well, I, I think as well, like, it is nice to kind of actually have someone come in and deal with it in a more like professional manner. I can because I can imagine yeah, yeah. the idea of it like, oh Absolutely. god, these guys Absolutely. with guns running around yeah. and yeah. And, and she like, says oh, you look still ringing I, in the I, box. <laughs> I really don't want to deal with the paperwork on this, if I must be honest. Um, I tell you what, look, if if I, I will provide a gav grav sled and you can you can take them back to your ship. Okay. Um if if that's what you want. I mean yes. you are clearly a licensed veterinary surgeon uh, and more capable of dealing with such creatures than than the protector crew we have here of course um thank you it's i will make sure they um are treated well and i thank you for your compassion in this in this time thank you uh, frankie as you're about to leave um she takes your hat your face in her hand like grabs your chin and looks at your face this side and that side this side and that side this side and that side hmm not quite <laughs> oh i don't like the two of them <laughs> i'm cool so i'm just gonna walk off <laughs> but i'm gonna say to plim on the way back um i won't tell the captain that you brought bats back to our ship if you get my com out of that box <laughs> of course, yes. And and no, no, yes, of course, Frankie. And um, well, it's. I think this needs to be said that you are, you have helped me greatly today, and I could not have done it without you. Thank you, my friend. Oh, no worries. You're pretty cool. Yes, you are as well. And okay. and between and between you and me, I think that genetically speaking, we're we're pretty cool. Um, in just like kind of a, I, I think the Tothan are quite rude about that, but I think anyone that clones themselves are going to be kind of mean in general. But that's uh, we've oh successfully dear. located the base pair for mean, <laughs> <laughs> put it in all the lines. Yes, yeah. it's it's their yes, it's, it's part of the identification gene. Remember, there's the gene that has the tag, yeah tell you who you are yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um they all have mean okay exactly. then yes. oh, yeah. so you guys head back to the it's ship we've got to go back to the ship kona wants to yeah. meet us there. are you suggesting that that they're mean gene mothers in outer space <laughs> <laughs> okay so you guys arrive back at the ship conveniently just at the same time as Karen has finished hiding all the top secret information Excellent. in her quarters and everyone else is ready uh, with all their gear. Okay. What? Mm -hmm. What? Hello. Yes. What? What? <laughs> There's five bats on a grab sled. <laughs> yeah. They are. What? They are all tranquilized. That's one thing that has happened. They are all tranquilized, okay. and you know they're going to be. They're probably going to be tranquilized for 24 hours. Right. Okay. So yeah, put them in a low berth for now, and um shopping trip come on let's go guys let's go let's yes. go let's go yes my young brother used to have a rabbit oh well that's nice uh, uh how long did it live for oh Pass. that's yeah. okay no i i understand <laughs> actually how long are these things going to be out uh i would say roughly about 24 hours oh, uh, shall we throw them out the airlock no 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 no, 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 no. I was just no, thinking no, they no. might be useful in our shopping trip, but not if they can be out for 24 what, hours. A, cock -up. a stim might reverse the tranquilizer. <laughs> oh. J just saying. Uh, what is that? Um, okay, this is nine I'm asking. What, what is it you said, Ben? A law? A low birth. Low birth. Low birth. A shitty uh, room. It's a, it's a human yeah. freezer. Oh. oh. That's all the cheap passengers go in a low berth. And start the needle. Oh, <laughs> no, no, it, it's it's quite. Um, doc, doctor, I I appreciate your very good work in candor when it comes to. Um, oh no, if he can wake them up, we can take them with us, and they'll be really, really handy as a distraction if everything goes horribly wrong. You'll need to ask twice. I'll I'll run twenty cc's of stim in one of them. No, oh. <laughs> I feel like Doc Rooster's enough of a distraction. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. I, okay, it's... so so Rooster, unless anyone wants to try and stop him. I think I would. I, I feel okay. I, I was okay. yeah. So what we'll need so what we'll need and... from the two <laughs> we'll need whoever wants to oppose Rooster, we need a dex roll from you. And we need the same from Nye and uh, Leon. Uh, it, so if you, if, if you can yeah. all roll. To be clear, uh, it's no, not a really, really one. Want I'm to just, no, 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 no. It's just like a, a get in the way or a. Or a... <laughs> yeah, I actually probably would prefer that. I want Flim <laughs> tripping his nuts off on stimulants while we go on a shopping trip to the black market. It's be amazing. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I'm okay. getting injected. Well, no, 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 no. So, so Arjun actually failed worse than you guys so you kind of himself in the arm (laughs) (laughs) you get no you get in the way of arjun injecting like just just randomly injecting a bat um with the stim it's i it we should keep them asleep yes in this particular instance i think they're (laughs) nice and asleep just just for now i'll uh, yes oh (laughs) <laughs> oh, okay. oh norm i got to shut off norm <laughs> oh, it's okay if it's even worse then i'm gonna have you inject yourself cool. it's i'm insane, scared i'm no, scared no, no, no. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> and so at first you go like that and they kind of whoop, and you look like you but well, then you, uh, fake, you do a fake out. You do a fake out. Uh, like, ah, you, yeah. And you inject uh, one with a stim. Uh, <laughs> um, you, uh, the scientific minded people in the room know nothing will probably happen straight away. They've just had a load of tranquilizer. They've yeah. just had a load of stim. There's going to be oh. like a slight delay to it. Maybe half an hour 45 minutes the we creature put that will come one in around. a box and take it with us in a box in no a box, no box, no, box. no 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 we're not using them as distractions because that's wrong it's using it's another... only in case of emergency plim seriously well, no no we, I ha- we're going I'm, to talk I... to some bad people and a giant well, bat exploding out of a box might be just the distraction but, but, we need but conrad that that makes me feel worse now if they were nice people i wouldn't want to bring them as a distraction but if they're <laughs> bad people then i i don't want the, these creatures to all be used i'm as saying a distraction. is very hot oil and breadcrumbs <laughs> oh, oh. I, I would prefer not to eat them either. Personally. Clem, it's your call. What, you're, you're while this man. is while this is all going on, Karen, what are yeah. you doing? <laughs> I'm I'm like stood here, like just sort of trying to like, grinding her teeth together because she's also been stimmed up. She's aware of absolutely everything that's going on in the universe. All at once. <laughs> Mike, Mike, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, she's I'm like from space. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> um no uh pretty much like um where are we going like are we where is the shopping trip are we i can't go into high nexus um no. um because because everybody with my face gets killed so let's take your face off okay d- well i was no, thinking I like about putting it. another one on okay. rather like- than taking that one off but yeah same idea so, okay. so, so Ben, the, top of your face. the location that Kona's been given is not High Nexus. Okay, it's not High Nexus. It is a separate high orbit trading right. post. We're not going to High which Nexus. Which is maintained by corporations. We're going further away okay. from High Nexus and into corporation space. Okay. So it's okay. a private enterprise. So it's not strictly governed by the, the Tothan laws. Karen, did they did they say rude things to you as well? Because I, I, Frankie and I got quite a mouthful from some of them. And it did, Who said it, rude it was, things to you? Well, there was there was talk of you know garbage DNA and genetic scum and and I'm point you know, that plim so it's like so she knows it was about him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Well, it's uh, how about how about an eighteen scar straight across the middle. <laughs> No, I was thinking about something a little less permanent, Doc. A bit of makeup, maybe some prosthetics. In... Are we doing? Are we going in the in the? I, the, I assume chemical? you guys are all going to go in the ship's boat. Yeah, yeah ship's boat. Yeah, uh, I'll just be ship's like, ship's boat, corporation space, boat? I know... high orbit. All right, oh. Let's go. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. 
I, what if you wear, and I'll I'll take because I would I just assume I would have this. If you wear a big scarf and and you wear it like around your neck, and it'll kind of disguise your face. And you can uh, just see Karen, you remember that there are groups who come here from outside of Tothan space. Mm -hmm to trade in these high trading points, to have access to high nexus mm -hmm. without having to jump in and out of the system, mm -hmm. but without having to run a starship or obey all the strict super laws. Mm -hmm. So there are some of these places who give lots of money to Tothan Genetic Authority to stay in high orbit, but outside of Yes. necessarily full jurisdiction half a um, meter outside of toth and jurisdiction exactly. yeah that kind of exactly. stuff going to space yeah. hong kong yeah yeah space hong kong yeah um uh yes look let's go um let's go yes. frankie this I will is where avoid, we're going i'll try and avoid cameras and then maybe um we can get this done huh, uh, that's weird hmm? i just pinged the message across at frankie and it said it wasn't received did you lose yeah. your phone no, um, I, I fished it out. Look, and I'll hold up the like <laughs> saliva claw. That, no, it's still um... that's not saliva. <laughs> Where I'll just and I'll take like like a little handkerchief and just be like, oh no, that's not going to. I'll get you a new one. I'll I owe you that, Frankie. Thank you again for your assistance. I apologize. Uh, can I pull a bit of bat wing off one of these scourge bats without no one really noticing? <laughs> they're, they're they're wrapped up in nets, so it would be quite an effort to do that without anyone noticing. I was going to make Karen a moustache. <laughs> then why don't you put these down in a low burn? I feel... Lynn, <laughs> deal with the bats. <laughs> yes, I will. I'll get them low to one of the rooms. So, yes. you put the yes. bats in the low berth. Yes, exactly. I'll the one that was stimmed, are you taking it with you? I assume not. You're going to no, put that. No, no, no. It's all going in a low berth. I mean, based yes. on everybody else's suggestions, Karen could big... wear it as a wig. <laughs> no. You pull the That's big lever and it idea, seals, seals the thing down. And um, you all go to the ship's boat. One of, one of Captain Anson's lovely ship's boats. Don't crash it. Um, <laughs> and, uh, the one. It's not the yacht. Okay. Not the oh, no the yacht thr the thrust on the yacht is rubbish. It's thrust one, whereas a ship's boat is thrust five. So you can get there and back without yeah, him even like, knowing. Before he's yeah, back from the party. Before he's back from the party. Before he's the given me permission end to of do the this. Party. He's given me carte blanche to spend money and buy stuff and a list of things to buy. So if we have to use the ship's boat, we have to use the ship's boat. That's true. That's true. He's given you carte blanche to spend money from mine and Plim's ships exchange. So no separate money. The, oh, separate money. Separate money. This this is savings. We we've sort of scraped together people's savings. Cash money. Cash money. Yeah. Oh, I don't have any of that. So yeah. This is cash money. Do you need the big anything? briefcase full of Sudenican dollars? So sorry, Sudenica rubles. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. So you guys all load into the ship's boat. Mm -hmm. Um. How uh, flying are you? I'm flying. I can one. fly. I I could also. Fly if you, you fly. fly I'll There's just a watch. pilot seat and a co-pilot seat. So oh. Karen was drunk an hour ago. <laughs> I'll, take, I'll take the, the co-pilot <laughs> seat. tim has been juggling bats. So if you could fly, that'd be great. Thanks. I'm gonna get a little plastic cup and pour some medicine into it, and I'm gonna offer it to Frankie. Night nurse. Do you want to take that? <laughs> I'm gonna take the cup. But not drink it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say, Cheers, dog, and then I'll turn around. <laughs> okay, cool. I'll be fly that will. I don't know where to pour this in a spaceship. <laughs> I'm just going to an ashtray. <laughs> I wouldn't worry it. Remember, it's 80s sci-fi. Yeah. <laughs> this this sci-fi was invented in the 80s. So there's ashtrays everywhere. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, uh, strapping in. Uh, Plim, okay, do you want to take the pilot seat? I'll co-pilot. Oh. Oh, uh, uh, oh, thank you. Oh, I I threw my hat into the ring, not expecting it. Yes, I'd love to. <laughs> now, uh, I, I like sitting in the seat. Ah, now, where's the... Uh, okay, uh, I'll flick the gear is destination to the ship's computer instead. Okay. Oh, oh, oh okay. Uh, right. Click, <laughs> click, click. <laughs> okay. So let's have a uh, let's have a pilot um, small craft 
Okay. Uh, from Plim. Yes. And um, Frankie, if you make a pilot small craft roll and are successful, you will add plus one onto Plim's roll. Is this uh, it not be like in a driving instructor's car where the driving <laughs> instructor can just take over when the student gets it all wrong? Is this is this routine or is this average? Yeah, oh no, this is this is um what's below routine? Easy Tri and then simple. Uh, simple is the lowest and then easy is between easy. simple and routine. Okay. Sorry, I need oh, to get my case, need to get my lovely um, traveller screen out. Ooh. Horrible space accidents and what T. to do with them. Like a space T. screen, oh. which, which gives the players a nice view of the interior of a Ooh. cotton Ooh. bit. Cool. Nice. Lots of very useful tables on the interior, including mm -hmm. difficulty. That's a tasty old roll, though. Mm. Oh, effect eight, blimey! Yes. Oh. Takes me back to my scouting days. Yes, and uh, Frankie, you you helped out very well, but but it's clear that Plim didn't need the help, and the ship's boat slides out effortlessly into the um, starport traffic. And there are a few kind of smaller ships moving around. As I said earlier on, there are some protector in-system vessels doing some maneuvers, and you have to keep a certain distance from other starships, you know, and all that kind of stuff. But you you plot a course between these other vessels and other traffic, uh, kind of going past the the TAS lounge uh, on your way, or within kind of visual uh, sight of it, and you can, can see a group of people all chatting and drinking it's and mucky having like eating. a fight with the other <laughs> yeah head butting and ukarite um, Savius diplomat. throwing grapes at people <laughs> yep. <laughs> Um, missing and hitting the window, which is why you notice it. Right, um, let's take a look at your face. Mine? Uh, yeah. Well, as you go past, all I was going to say was you see the uh, Pride of Sigin, which mm -hmm. is the Sudenican vessel, clearly preparing to depart. The engines are powering up, the turrets are m moving, Do not you see lights coming ship. on. Oh, heavens, no. No, no, no. Is it going? Um, I thought Anson little... wanted to chat them up so we would go instead. Well, you know what Sudenicans are like. Okay. I, I click a little indicator thing. <laughs> just like, <laughs> I'm just heading out. <laughs> and you start to make your way. And it's not going to take you long. It's going to take you like 25 minutes to go just around the curve a bit, slightly further out in orbit. And over in this area, there are sort of a spread out group of four high orbit small stations. And you are going to Cheriton 3. It's the name of this small space, small station you're going to. And it doesn't look much more than sort of a large chamber, you know, with some ancillary ones for like power, environmental. Uh, maybe bathroom facilities, you're not sure. And it has some small spindles coming off of it, which um, small ships, only small ships could dock at. So only kind of ships, boats, maybe a yacht at a push, um, but but nothing more than that. And I think of an alternative to scourge bats now. And on Do the Cheriton, <laughs> on, on Cheriton 3, you can see that there are six prongs coming off of it. It's kind of hexagonal structure. And two other ship's boats are docked on, uh, on, on this mini space station. And as you get closer, it's like, a, it's like a big building in space with a few prongs coming off of it with, with airlocks. Uh, you can see little thrusters keeping it in position and that kind of stuff. Uh, and there's clearly a, power, a small power plant, you know, and all those kinds of things. So it's it's got just like the bare minimum required. It's like cost effective to, you know, the maximum return. Um, and you you think, Kona, this is probably more of a data exchange or um, a, a place where one can arrange for things to be shipped to your ship or to other places. 
a, a semi-legal brokerage. Exactly, exactly. Okay, can I disguise Karen? It's going to be difficult because of where you are and who she is. Uh, what kind of thing are you thinking? I mean, you can't, there's no kind of way you can actually change her features. Yeah. No, but some prosthetics, a uh, bit of a I'm wig. Gonna, I'm going to offer my wife. You're in the ship's boat. To... What to, what prosthetics do you have? Do you have a... Is there an encounter suit? Is there like a vac suit? You have Ooh. a, there are vac suits. Yeah, oh, yeah I, just, I just put a vac suit on. I look stupid. Uh, oh, look. Evil Gilmore said, Kona Carl reroll prayer from the MSR. Ah. Oh. <clears throat> the Sacred Realm. Your voyage through the you're, sacred never supposed, realm. you're never supposed to reduce it to the acronym, but anyway. <gasps> That's what the <laughs> others do. <laughs> uh, okay. Would that, would that be like suspicious if someone walked around in a vac suit, or is it like walking around <clears throat> in like your uniform from work? It's like, oh, that's a bit weird. It but could it's be. not like. You if you're an Ukarite uh... Combine member, you might walk around in a vac suit fairly often. Um, okay. It yeah. depends on who you are and where you're from. So people don't uh, assume. Also, this location is a place where yeah. you know certain <laughs> things <laughs> go on. Yeah. So they're probably expecting people to come in, like covering their faces. Uh, glasses. And... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So a vac suit, some makeup, maybe a, a, a breather. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I, I don't you think you've quite got the, the the time or no. We don't have time for prosthetics, prosthetics and wigs and all of that yeah, stuff. Yeah. No, yeah, it's not, made, it's, not, um, it's not. Yeah, yeah. Bart Wahlberg's room for that. Yeah, yeah. Should have, <laughs> if he wasn't passed out, this would look good. But you know, although very interesting for having Varga prosthetics on a human clone. But yeah, that that would be cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wolf lady. Uh, wolf lady gone wrong. Um, yeah, I'll just just suit put a vac suit on and. You know, okay. that kind of shit. Yeah. Okay, cool. That does. Do you have a newspaper with two eye holes cut out she could hold up? <laughs> yeah. Good plan. I like it. Okay. So, I expect as... them to have scanners for scions on this place. But well, we we don't know that. We don't have a scion, do we? You don't know that he's a scion. We don't know that he's a scion. You don't know that he's a scion. We'll redact that comment from the YouTube video. No. <laughs> sure. um, so I mean, you're you're flying up to this thing and you're going to dock in five minutes. What is everyone doing in the five minutes before you dock? Uh, Kona, you've transmitted the co a code that you've received yeah. to allow, you know, they know it's you and the, the one weapon system on this little station isn't going to fire on you. So you are clear to approach and you've got five minutes. What's everyone doing in the five minutes beforehand? Putting out a back suit. Cool. Back suit. Plim, what are you up to? Oh, hey. oh you're you pilot. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Frankie, anything you want to do from the co-pilot seat? I'll just check my hair. Okay, check your hair. Looks fucking awesome. I should just give a shout out to Spider Queen Long in the chat, Pat, for the artwork that we have on the yeah, overlay. It's awesome. It is awesome. It's Such good shit. art. It's fantastic. So cool. Thank you for that. Uh, and yes, there you go. There is uh, Pat's Patreon uh, in the chat right now. Um, Dr. Rooster, Arjun? Yeah, uh, I'm going to be acting out some ancient battle, including the voices, um, <laughs> pretending to stab people. And... <laughs> cool. Cool. Bit of reenactment in the back of the ship's boat. I like the idea that <laughs> now for future. <laughs> Plim has to work with Arjun because they're both medical professionals. <laughs> yeah. Are they? Yeah. Well, Are yeah, they? you have to weigh up. Who do you want? Do you want Arjun or do you want Plim to check out your injuries? It's a tough yeah, good, good shout. Yeah, good question. Um, and Kona, what are you up to as you approach? Uh, body pistol in the mid-back holster so that it's out of where people search for pistols. Mm -hmm. And it's also a body pistol so it can't be picked up. Uh, snub pistol in the boot. I've got cloth armor, got all my headgear. Okay. Crack, crack. Time to go to work. Okay. So, Plim, let's have a easy piloting roll okay. to dock. Uh, piloting small craft still. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Piloting small craft. Yep. Even it doesn't that's... have uh, automated systems here. Obviously, that's an extravagance in cost and infrastructure that they don't really 
No, if you're coming here, you want to come here. <laughs> Another good roll. Um, Frankie, clearly Plim is picking up on your your expert tutelage and uh, it slides in and it's like a perfect seal. Just, you barely feel the vibration through the hull. And then you hear the kung of the clamps and you are docked. Okay. Kona, you taking the lead on this? You want us to just stand behind you, look big yeah, or what? Don't be stupid. Don't piss anybody off. Uh, we're here for a legitimate business exchange. Okay. <laughs> like, yes. When you said don't be stupid, you looked at Doc Rooster. When you said don't <laughs> piss anyone off, you looked at Karen. <laughs> <laughs> you get commed in the ship now that you're docked. And it's you realize it's like an internal patch through the 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 connection. And it kind of buzzes on your communicator get up hello no weapons does that apply to you as well this is our this is our port my friend i know no but you want us to come in and meet you with no weapons we got a we got some some business to do yes yeah, so i have to, you I have to secure work? my place of work come now come now. Fair you enough. know how this works yeah yeah all right, no weapons, guys. Oh, should I? Can I bring my yeah, medicine? Box? Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Uh, I always never leave home without it, as they say. No, I never leave. It's a ship. medical kit. It's perfectly yes. safe. Does the voice sound local? Um, it sounds like someone who's picked up some inflections of Tothan society and speech, but not a local. The, a little bit of disdain, the disdain rubbed <laughs> off on the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Very snooty. Yeah. <clears throat> well, okay. I'll ditch the snub pistol then. I'm going to take okay. my surgical kit with me. Okay, cool. <laughs> we both got a I have the like horrible suspicion back. that his surgical kit is a Bowie knife called <laughs> Jeff. No, it's a bone <laughs> saw and a scalpel. <laughs> <laughs> Level two. And some twine. <laughs> Okay, so. In we go. This is where it all goes wrong. Uh, you go to your airlock and it cycles and opens. And inside the docking prong is a man in full battle dress holding an energy rifle. Oh, man. He, he just nods at you. And, and, and gestures politely. In we go. Okay, you walk There's down no point this. In us bringing weapons if they're tooled up like that, anyway. <laughs> you walk down this corridor, uh, and there's a interior kind of airlock, which opens. And you go into a large chamber. There's a few doors off the sides. You can see the six main entranceways for the different docking prongs, but there are also a few other doors which must lead to like power systems and thruster control and all you know those kinds of extra things. And um, sitting in the room uh, at a table uh, are two individuals. Uh, Karen, one of them is a Vain. Mm -hmm. um, and the other is a, uh, a woman, a human woman, non Tothan. You don't recognize her from any, any genetic line. And you can see that you can tell she's not Tothan. Mm -hmm. um, and. Um, she, they're sitting in very formal kind of business wear behind this table. And beyond and behind, you can see a large container, a large sort of shipping container, about oh, just big enough, just big, but not so big that it couldn't fit through an airlock. And it's on a little grav suspenser of its own not a grav sled it has an inbuilt hmm. grav suspenser greetings says the non-tothan uh, lady please please come Good in day uh, ah. mr for in yes Doesn't, I, doesn't, I met one of your really number respond. stations. 
Pardon? I met one of your line on the station earlier. Yes, it's a rather sorry affair. What's happened to my line? Yeah, I understand. Uh... Anyway, never, never mind, never mind. Yeah. The... So, what can we're I do? scientists? Yes. Yeah, that's. I understand that you were scientists, and that they've yes. taken that away from you. The woman next to us says, "Anyway." Yeah. Business is what we're here for. Yes, yes. Uh, and I understand you were, you were making various um, inquiries. And... I feel terrible. I do. I feel absolutely awful that you even saw those. Um, if I'd been doing my job right, you shouldn't even have noticed me. But Well, I thought one of two things. Either you were having a very bad day. I was having a very bad day. Or you were being extra clever. Sadly, to I wish the I was interest being that clever. of myself. On any given day, that would never have happened. However, it did. So let's make the most of a bad situation. I'm in the market for an extensive list of goods and services. And I understand that you are able to provide such things in exchange for remuneration in the form of both goods and services? Yes, you've actually come to me at an opportune time. There is very precious cargo that I need transported and affiliated vessels are not really best placed for this so you're looking for an independent trader indeed and i'm happy to help you find your goods and and uh, your your I, I saw some of your search queries um interesting collection of items that your crew are after it's a big crew there's a lot of people everybody's got their own favorites yeah, everybody wants something we're just trying to keep everyone happy yes it's interesting you have um you know, Captain Anson is an interesting fellow. I've been reading up on his service history. Yeah, he was a bit of a big shot in the Sudanican military. Yes, yes. I'm I'm quite interested as to why he's now... Uh, anyway, anyway, she says... Uh... He's a prestigious captain. He brings in a lot of very useful trade deals. I, I'm sure all... <laughs> you must must get the mail service wherever you go. Certainly seems that way. And delivering the post is all well and good, but sometimes there are documents and goods that need slightly more secure transport. Well, there are. That's where I come in. Yes. I'm just counting parsecs. <laughs> right. Well. I, I'm willing to help you find these uh, goods, and I'm also willing to 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 um, to sponsor your uh, provisioning of your starship in a in a twenty percent um, amount of the cost of these items that you are taking that you are, you are searching for. Um, and I am also. Well, let's not beat about the bush. It's contingent on on a on an activity. I'm assuming this is an activity that you prefer the Tothan authorities not involve themselves in. She looks about the room. While Kona is talking to uh, this lady, what are the other four of you doing? The guy in battle dress has stepped in the door behind you. Mm -hmm. So he is there. And there are these two other people uh, and a big table with enough chairs for you on the other side of it. Yeah, I mean, she's kind of gestured for you to all sit down. So you um, feel free to have sat down. Um, but it's up to you. Is there a, is there like just a normal grunt with a gun? There's only the guy behind you in the super armor suit. Ooh. No regular grunt in a gun. No one you can jab with a needle. Um, I'm thinking of jab with my mind's eye to see if, like, oh. I wanted to shoot. But... 
Oh, you can do. Uh, you can try and read surface thoughts on the on the guy in battle dress if you want. Yeah. Yeah. Mind control him. <laughs> well, 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 he's doing that. I wish I could read minds oh. of the the bin. Oh wow. Okay. So everybody else, take your headphones off. <laughs> okay. So, Jim. Yeah. You that that's that's a pretty that's a pretty strong result you've got there. That's an effect of four. So I, I'm gonna say that you pick up on a bit of you pick up mainly on the guy in battle dress, but you pick up a bit of surface thoughts from the from the others in the room. Okay. There is a high level, even though they are not showing it and they're doing a very good job of showing it, there's a high level of um anxiety and anticipation and um a, a, and a, and a desire for this to happen okay the guy in battle dress in his head he's thinking this is this is different from the normal jobs if i have to i will but i don't want to i don't want to uh, this is crazy i mean he seems to there is a sense in his mind of novelty to what he's wearing okay. you, you you said about sponsoring yes i, I once did a sponsored surgery uh went over like three days are you a doctor? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, okay. How, did you did your sponsorship go well? There is a lot of blood, and there are a lot of parts, and yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I think I think it did. We raised a bit of money, anyway. Well, that's good. That's good. It's encouraging to hear that there are medical staff on your team. <laughs> you just Sorry, missed. I was watching the. Um... <laughs> you just missed uh, Doctor Rooster chatting about a sponsored surgery. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with, as uh, you do with the uh, the trader. Um, I made the mistake of stopping to watching the big pictures and starting watching the little pictures on um, Twitch. Twitch. So there's a little okay. delay. So I saw you put the hand the headphones thing on after you said to put the ah, headphones thing okay. on. Okay. Okay. Right. I'm gonna make a roll for Dev in to Owns End. Yeah. Okay. Karen. Mm -hmm. The Vin is looking at you. That's funny because I'm probably looking at him. Yeah. Oh, um, Aunt Karen. Oh god. And, I, and did, then I look at Plim. Did you just say that out loud, Plim? <laughs> what? How is Karen a bad name? I just said Karen. The name, they all have the same. Yeah. But yeah so, Karen might just be a human name. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, exactly. Yeah, but, okay, yeah, 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 cool. But no, that, that's how it goes. He goes, Karen. And I, there's just like the. Yeah. And I look at Vin. Yes. Yes, you're look, my aunt. Yes. I look at, and I, I just like. I had an auntie Karen once. Yes, it's quite a calm, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But uh, yes, it's... Uh, how are you feeling? You, yes. Fine. You, yeah, you do, get, you do get a bit sick, don't you? You get space sickness. No, when why you, would I when get you... space sick? I, I've... Do you want some medicine? No, you gave me medicine <laughs> earlier. <clears throat> Look, shush. Kona is doing uh, their job and we should oh. just... Like taking your children to the casino. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> trying to count cards and all we're doing is messing around in the background. I had a criminal career for like 12 years. I can't believe how net you all are this. <laughs> Can you see why I went to prison? <laughs> criminal career. This is why it's Red Dwarf rather than Traveller. <laughs> yeah, I have a criminal career. Uh, uh, and she, the, the woman coughs. <clears throat> sorry. Um, sorry, sorry, sorry to interrupt you. Um, I... 
look, we are happy to help you and sponsor your purchase of these products. Um, I, however, to have our patronage and our future patronage in this system and similar sponsorship when in Tothan, one of the most advanced systems in the five parsec region. I need you to do a job for me. Tell me the job, please. She, she nods backwards at the box in the corner, the large box. The box is going somewhere. The box is going to Gletty. Gletty. Where's Gletty? Where's Gletty? Yeah, uh, Flynn. Uh, yes. You know, if they sponsor us, yeah, you think uh -huh. it'll be all right if their name goes under Dr. Rooster's fried chicken coat. Yeah, oh, I see, Gletty. Oh, that's a long way away. Yeah. yeah. Right? Uh, okay. That's and we're willing to pay you. Oh. <laughs> From there, all the way down to there. Geez. That is a point two five mega credits. <laughs> I just love this conversation. Argent's having with Gletty. Yeah, it's just in the back credits. Right. Trip to Gletty. Oh, it's Taking cool. the box for delivery to... There is information. You receive the money once. Our contact on Gletty receives the delivery. Now, I realise that you, know, you don't want to tell me exactly what's in the box, but I will need to ask what kind of risks and hazards it poses to the crew. It poses no hazards. However, it must maintain power. So it needs permanent powering. Yes. We could use the atmosphere and temperature control. Oh, the defibrillator. Uh, that's all yes. done yeah. internally. internally. Splendid. So we literally just need to hook it up to power in a cargo bay and run it to Gletty. In a cupboard, if you want. And the Vin shoots her a look. Aggers. <laughs> yes, she kind of. That was a figure of speech. I'm sorry. We will treat your cargo as though it were our own dear aunt. I'm going to start miming, defibrillating something on the table. <laughs> oh. Our. Our. I'll shoot Clem and Evil when I say our own dear aunt. Yes, this is yes. It's a family business. I, I, I thought, okay, no, it's, that's the the in, like, as well. looks like he's going to say something and he's like, he's looking at Karen. Mm -hmm. And he's like, do I recognize this? Like, I know he's a Vin, so obviously I recognize him. But there's, there's like those sort of like, you know, he, he's the... 30 years ago. So yeah. let's have, let's have a routine intellect role. Oh, I was going to make my first ever role of the whole game. I know. <laughs> I know. I've gotten away with this so long. Um, intellect. Um, At least it's not strength, eh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. Um, roll, roll type normal. No other modifiers. Public roll. Let's see how this goes. It's pretty good. Is he even it's old enough good. for her to recognise? It's very good. Yeah, definitely old enough. It's a slightly elder bit in. And in fact, you think, oh, hang on. 30 years ago. Devin. Devin. We know he's called Devin. Devin. Mm. Looks, uh, you think it may have been someone who was associated with Kevin mm -hmm. a long time ago in the same scientific circle in a kind of support function to you and some of the other Harens. Mm -hmm. Looking like Yeah, but I don't. I, uh, mm. Is there because obviously, like I'm in a vac suit. Mm -hmm. So is there like um and and Kona has got, you know, computers in his head. Mm -hmm. Um, in, yeah, in their head. Sorry. Oh, you want to tap a message to Kona? Like, is is it po yeah? Is it possible to to privately communicate with Pro Kona or not? Yeah. Yes, actually, it is. my brain. But mm. someone might notice you tap a different frequency.
frequency, like a different channel on your, you know, yeah, control. But this is shady thing. dealings. But, like if I was people the... do it all the time. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. It's not you know. So you can privately communicate with Kona. All right. So I will. I will. You know, message Kona. Um, and 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 like ask him if um um. Now, how do you how do you phrase it? Like something along the lines of you know, because she was spouting off about um, Anson and he, his illustrious medical record. Um, something along the lines of um, uh, did he um, like did he administrate the all of the base pairing of of um, the bat genome on you know something like that, or was he just um, just responsible for publishing it, you know, like some sort of like we know things about you, but something that can you? Am I making sense? Kind of. Um, you're not giving me much to go on because you're asking for me to to bluff on a text yeah. on a text that I don't know. Oh, but okay. um, yes, yeah, so both can... of you, both of you make intellect rolls. Right. Um, a right standard intellect roll, and if you're successful, then then Millie can can oh, yeah. describe in more detail what she means. Use emojis. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, I, I get what you mean. You want me to basically ask about co-authoring of a paper on um, synchronizing base pairs? Yeah, something like that. That we, you know, if we knew the VIN line was scientists, we'd know that 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 some of them would have done the administration and, and the publishing, whereas some of them would have done the actual research. And we're like, yeah. um, so did you really do this research that Karen knows you did? Or did you just publish it? You know, so yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll say debate, to him kind of thing. To the to, to ever yep. in. Um, just curious, um, I've been reading a lot up on um, the genetic lines of Toth and trying to find out more, learn a bit about that the people in the area, I always try and learn as much as I can about the people we're visiting. It's important to be able to fit in as much as you can. Uh, yes. The in line used to be scientists. Um, I am still a scientist. You were, I'm sorry. I'm not a scientist. I don't know much about authoring or co-authoring of papers, but I'm sure I've read your name as having co-authored a paper with um, Another scientist that I don't recall the name on base pair sequencing in defunct genome lines. Did you co-author or did you produce the paper? I wasn't. I was. Couldn't make out whether you were a researcher or the administrator on the project. Pause this for a moment, and he looks at you. Um, he says, "I," and then looks at Karen, <laughs> and says co-authored that paper but it was it was quite interesting yeah uh, the totem genetic lines thing is very curious uh, i understand you used to have a hundred and you're, you're reduced now to only 99 was there a problem with one of the bloodlines there's still a hundred lines that's good to know it's good to know that is actually very good to know Thanks. Unofficially. Unofficially. Thanks for that. They also have a few other lines in tanks on the planet, but I don't know much about those. I've got to admit, I'm not surprised. They strike me as the sort of people that might have a couple of tanks full of um, ready to go super soldiers just in case things go south. At this point, mm -hmm. something beeps in the room and the woman next to him stands up and goes over to a communication panel and she looks down at the screen and she says i i, I need all of you to leave now please take are, are you going to do are you going to do this we'll do it i'm in we're in Very it well. will be our pleasure to aid you in this the device once you've uh, tagged onto it with your communication frequency it will follow you Okay, I'll kick my head to one side, tag it to communication frequency mm -hmm. and tell it to follow. Okay, starts to follow you. She says, I'm very sorry, but there's Understood. a situation. Nope, I need we're to, leaving. Oh, we, we need to uh, scramble some, some, some people. 
Yep, I understand. No, quite all right. We're out of here. Um, I will look forward to hearing from your agent on Gletty when we get there. It may take us a little while. We've got a long way to go and there are a number of systems going to have to be a bit careful going through, but we'll do it at best speed. We understand. Pleasure doing business with you. We've waited long enough. We can wait longer. Family matters are important says the vin okay so you guys shuffle out and the guy in battle dress is kind of like rounding you up to leave and you all get in the shuttle and you're slightly confused by what kind of situation could possibly have caused them to get nervous or or concerned and you you get on board the ship's boat and as you power up the system the in system communication traffic you know comes through on your on your computers and as as you pull away from Cheriton 3 the news comes through to your vessel that there has been a terrorist attack on the TAS lounge on High Nexus where the rest of your crew have just been and as you fly this kind of weighs on you as you fly into back towards your vessel and you all glance back at the strange grav sled box that you've got sitting in the back of your ship's boat as you make your way back to your lab ship. And we shall end the episode there. Cool. Cool. What's in the box? What's in the box? I, I have like a, a supposition as to what's in the box. <laughs> is it a I could, I could have read the mind for what's in the box, but I thought, no. I'll I would be careful if I was you. I think there might be more than one mind exactly. in there. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay. Happy birthday. Right. It's going to be full of scourge bats. <laughs> yes! Mutant they, they, scourge bats. They brought bats. them as a distraction. <laughs> it's got a big egg in it. Happy no. birthday, Karen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, right. Thank you very much, players. That was a great session. You guys all really got into it. That was really cool. Um, thank you to our viewers for watching and being with us. Thank you to Mongoose Publishing for sponsoring the show and meaning that Narodin Zeka, who made the wonderful artwork for our cover and overlay of the, um, of the show, the nice spaceship in space um, has won a copy of the Traveler's Companion. Congratulations. Ooh. So that is fantastic. Right. So thank you very much for watching. Um, does anybody have anything they want to shout about? Millie, is there anything you wanted to shout about before we go anywhere? Um, I play Coriolis on Free League Channel on Tuesdays. Yeah. I do that. More space game. More space game, yeah. <laughs> yeah we're, more doing, space. We're, we're doing an investigation into missing people. It's going terribly cool. well and there's no fridges falling on anyone. <laughs> <laughs> fridge, yeah. had, hashtag the fridge did it. The fridge did I it, yeah. That the next fridge they encountered after that was fixed into the wall. <laughs> it was, yes. <laughs> Altered in. <laughs> yeah, we, we do that on Tuesday. So just before, um, just before Nali Tap. Um, we play some some Coriolis and then we come and raid. Nali what? Nali Athotap. Nali Gali. Oh, that's the one. Yeah, that one. Nali Blow Fep. Yeah. 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 Oh, nice okay. You can tell who has got 18 degrees in history and languages and who hasn't, can't you? Mm -hmm. Not me. And uh, tomorrow, Ben? Tomorrow we have Spire, Bedlam Hill, episode two. They visited the Church of the Gun and listened to the crazed fundamentalists talking about how holy and cool guns were. They've scouted out the asylum, the eponymous Bedlam Hill Asylum, and are trying to consider ways of getting in, and are going to go and find out what the hell's going on with this mysterious location. Cool. Excellent. I believe and some of our players right now are players in that show as well. Yes. Uh, mm. Nye and Leon are both in yeah. that. And then mm -hmm. Tuesday next week, we've got Masks of Nyala Fota. Yep. And before that, we've got Coriolis. So you watch Coriolis and then you join in the, the raid that comes across to Nyala Fota. And we're coming up on a finale across. next week for Masks of Nyala Fota. So where yes. we go into the pyramid and deal with the ancient maggot god of evil. Mm. I'm sure we'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs>
and all the gold. Lovely. We've got Lovely. three sticks of dynamite, and I've got a degree no. in Aramaic. No, no, no. I have nine sticks of dynamite. <laughs> That's the only thing in my inventory. I mean, I have other stuff, but that's the only thing I've written down, just to be sure of it. Uh, yeah. So Tuesday, we've got Master of Nalathotep, Nalathotep, however you want to say it. And then Wednesday, Wednesday I believe Jim has something well, to share with the, with the class. Not next Wednesday, but the Wednesday after, Jim. Yeah, we're, we're having a get-together next Wednesday and just running through things on Foundry just to make sure it's all nice and smooth enough. And, and then, yes, the Wednesday after... It'll be a uh, warmer, fancy role play fourth edition shenanigans. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. With uh, Rogers in that, isn't he? And Colin. Yeah, we've and... got Roger, Alan, uh, sorry, Aaron. Um, um, Colin. Richard. Can't but I'm, I'm so bad, I've neglected my players already. Um, <laughs> yeah, we, 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 no we've worries. Got, we've got a really good, diverse group of players. We've got a, uh, a not squire well, knight. Them. We've got um, an engineer. Yeah. Um, we've got an elf. You've got uh, an elf? Um, yeah, Dan, Dan P's playing an elf. Oh, blimey. Um, oh, he loves elves. Yeah. Right. Um, the game that Roger's in. I know. That's I right. Know. Uh, oh, we've cool. got a ruffian. Buddy couple of each them. There you go, Kevin. There you go, Kevin. Kevin, that's it. Yeah. That's oh, Kevin, Kev's back. Not Kevin. Oh, wicked. Not Kevin. Basically, but... it's uh, it looks like it's going to be a, a student's jolly up, really. They've all been to the university cool. up north and they're going to go for a jolly up around the old world. Nice. Cool. Awesome. Um, and then, obviously, next Thursday, we've got the next episode of Feudal Stars. So please do join us for all of those shows. Join us on our Discord as well, uh, which we've just put a link in the chat for, where we're talking about all our shows. We've got, I th it was 397 members uh, when I checked yesterday. So we're just about 400, 400 people in the Discord talking about all our games, joining in, chatting about movies and all kinds of other things. So come and chat to us. We've got an amazing community. All the awesome people who are joining us, they are fantastic and make it what it is. Uh, and also check out our Patreon. Um, our fantastic patrons get to involve, get to be involved with special patron-only channels on the Discord where they help to build the worlds, influence the games, make characters for one-shots and all kind of cool stuff. And we've got podcasts coming out later in the month. We've got a blog sources. from Ben, mm -hmm. Fish Sources from Minerva. Yep. Gar blog from Ben uh, and you get to play games with us privately separately from everything else there's just some dedicated Gar blag time uh, and uh, all kinds of other cool stuff so check that out as well uh, anyway thank you very much for joining us everyone uh, we've been Gar blag Games uh, please stay safe and hopefully uh, some happy gaming in the next week so see you then bye